Hello! Welcome to Unboxing with Bill. My name is Bill Hershinger. I'm with Standard Electric. I'm the Director of Engineering. And uh, I have a special guest today that I'd like to welcome you. He's from Poles Power, and uh, his name is Dan Waxman. Dan, it's been a while. Yeah, but, how you uh, been, Bill? Been doing great. Good. You look great. Oh, you look a lot better. Oh, Don't boy. Lie. Our wives are going to be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, would like to do a little intro. Um, Dan used to be uh, a Standard Electric employee back in the uh, early 2000s, well, 2009. And uh, and uh, he's gone to greener pastures, but uh, he's back with us today. And uh, give us a little scoop on, uh, on Cole's power and a little history uh, here in the Midwest. Okay. Well, I'm now with, uh, with Pulse Power Supplies. I'm a regional sales manager at Pulse. I'm responsible for supporting Standard Electric in Wisconsin and, Indi and in Indiana. Now here, who Pulse Power is, is we're a manufacturer of power supplies. We're actually the, uh, the number one in terms of market share globally for DIN rail mounted power supplies. And it turns out that the guy who founded our company, he's our owner, founder, and director of product development, he actually invented the DIN rail mounted switching power supply. Did he supply. really? Yes, sir. And then after our little fledgling company survived, uh, it, you know, we had enough success and we attracted a whole bunch of competition. But, you know, the reason that we're number one, it's not because that we've been at it the longest. It's because you focus on one thing, power supplies. Well, we, that, that's definitely part of it. You know, we could focus on it and be bad at it. But, True. <laughs> but um, the reason that we're number one is because it is the lowest cost. Uh, we are the lowest cost supplier. We're not the low price supplier. A lot of times, you know, we've got competitors out there that offer much lower prices than we do. But the energy efficiency and all that contributes to the lowest cost is what you're getting at, I bet. Yup. Well, let's see. What did you bring us today that we can unbox? Well, I brought you a gift. You did? Yes. Is it your birthday coming up? Uh, no, not until October. Oh, well, happy we can birthday. Save it. Happy oh. birthday. So we're going to do unbagging with Bill today instead unbagging. of uh, unboxing. That's right. That's right. So here you go. Oh, this my is, goodness. This is a. She uh, is a beaut. Thank you. This is the, uh, the new. Um, Fipos, is that, how do you say that? Is oh that my correct? God, I can't, Fipos. Fipos, yeah. okay. Sorry. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. So what I called Fipos is Fipos, and this looks like a uh, IP67 rated, or it, is it IP65 rated uh, unit here? Well, we have their IP65 and IP67. Pretty beefy uh, heat uh, heat exchange here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Quite the uh, Quite the unit. This looks like it would probably be mounted in the environment. Um, maybe on a conveyor or something like that. Yep. Yeah. Give us a scoop on it. Okay. Well, what this thing is, it's it's not just a power supply. Okay. It's uh, the main feature, and that's what stands out. What you already pointed out to is that it's machine mountable. It does mm -hmm. not need to go into an enclosure. My enclosure guys don't like this product, probably. Well, uh, <laughs> our apologies. Our apologies to your enclosure guys. <laughs> but um, what the fee post involves is, or what it includes, is it's got a power supply in there. The power supply is in an enclosure. And here you can see we've got these three channel outputs. So we take, you can take the, uh, the output and you can segment it into three, up to this one, up to three. We have other versions that you can do up to four channels. So you select the, uh, the trip curves and they're, they're operating independently. If one of them trips, the other ones continue, uh, continue working. So this unit, what's the wattage on this one? This one is nominally, this one is 300 watts. This is single phase 300. So I could do all three outputs as 100 watts. Yep. Or I could do 150 and I can then change these differently because of the DC um, breaker that's built into this or what? Yeah, that's right. Ele we refer to it as electronic fusing. Okay. So we've got electronic fuses in here. And uh, the way that you set the trip points, there's a couple ways to do that. You can do that with, the, with these push buttons. Mm -hmm. Or you can do it through, uh, this one has a just a DC OK output. Right. We've got another flavor that's got IO link. So you can set it up over the IO oh, link wow. connection. Um, yeah. No Bluetooth connectivity or anything like that in this type of product right nope. now where you could connect with a mobile phone and connect that way. But IO link, you could definitely do that very easily with a lot of products that we sell. And uh, do you have any new uh, stuff in the wings right now that you're looking at uh, launching? Well, with the fee post in particular, we're going to the first wave of product releases was single phase 300 and three phase 500 watt. So we're going to move down. We're going to go to 100 and 200 watt single phase. 
and we're also going to move up. We're going to go to uh, over a kilowatt, 1.4 oh, wow. kilowatts is going wow. to be what's next in the in the future. So this family. right now you do have 480 uh, volt available, or is that coming? No, we've got that's out. That's that out. was the first that was okay. out actually, and that's more power than this. It's 500 watts nominally. Wow. And uh, will that work in 575 for our Canadian uh, northern folk no, at all? It won't. So 480 plus or minus uh, 10 percent, like 15 percent or, or something so. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for uh, stopping by and showing us the new product. Oh, well, happy to do it. Thanks a lot, Dan. Good to see you, Bill. Good to see Take you. Take care. Everybody, have a great day and uh, look forward to the next unboxing with Bill. Have a great see you.